All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a great week. I almost made it to the weekend. Getting closer. Closer. Uh, I wanted to give a couple of more, uh, I guess you could, call, you could call them tips or tricks or whatever you want to call them about Mio Linux JWM. And one of these is actually something I was going to include in Mio Linux, but in my, I'm just going to say it, in my stupidity, <laughs> I was having an issue with it, and I never could figure out why that issue was happening. So I didn't include that in Mio Linux JWM. However, after speaking with a user who goes by the name Mulder, and Mulder, if you're watching, thank you, man. You made me dig and made me made me kind of question what was going on, and I figured it out. Anyway, we'll give that tip if that's something you would like to do, and that'll be the second tip. The first tip is about the volume icon. Now, if you recall, I said that I had made the volume icon specifically for this, so that the volume icon would show up on either dark or light panels. Well, the more I use that icon, there's one little thing about it that I just don't like. And that is when you scroll the volume all the way up, the little indicator lines turn a kind of reddish orange color like that. If you can see that down here on the volume icon. And the reason I did that, I thought, well, that would be a good indicator to show you've got the volume maxed out. You might want to turn it down so you don't damage your hearing or something like that. <laughs> but the more I've used that icon, the less I like those <laughs> reddish orange lines. So I'm going to show you real quick how we can fix that so we don't have those reddish orange lines at the peak of the audio and we'll just have the normal looking lines like that and you'll have to determine <laughs> if the volume's too loud or not <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and do that now what we're going to do is open up pc man fm as root enter our password and I'm going to open another window so I'll click the extra window icon there now what we want to do in one of these two windows just go to user well go to file system user share and scroll down to volume icon and there it is so open that then you want to go to the icons folder and finally whew, you want to go to the Mio Linux folder and open it and here are the icons so what I want to do I want to replace number eight I can use either six or seven to replace that number eight icon so what I'm going to do in this other window you can use any folder you want. You don't have to use the one I'm going to use. I mean, make it your own, baby. <laughs> I'm going to use the desktop folder because I know there's nothing there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy either 6 or 7. It doesn't matter because they're both the same. I'm going to copy number 7. I'm going to paste it over here. And I'm simply going to rename it to 8.ping. And then I'm going to copy that one that I just renamed and paste it into the original folder. And yes, I'm going to overwrite that 8.ping. Now it looks like it didn't do anything, but if you go back, hit your back button, and then forward again to the same one, you'll see it changed. So now we've gotten rid of those orangish reddish lines so let's 
Let's increase the volume. Oh dear, it's still showing reddish orange lines. <laughs> so there's one last thing. Oh, before we change that, you do have to follow this naming sen uh, sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ping. Okay, you have to follow that naming sequence when you're uh, making these icons or if you're changing the name of one or something like that. Okay, so we have changed it here in our folder, but it's still showing up as orangish, reddish lines down here. So here's an easy way to fix that. Go to uh, right click on the icon, go to preferences. Over here on the left, click on status icon. And here's the icon theme that's being used, Mio Linux. We'll just change that to something else and then change it right back. So let's go to white gnome. And you see the icon changed. And back to Mio Linux. And you can see here the I, uh, volume is maxed out. And we don't have those orangish, reddish colors anymore. <laughs> so there's that. Hopefully, if, if you're like me and you don't like what I did, <laughs> maybe that'll help. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Whew. Now, <clears throat> the second little tip or trick, however you want to... Oh, there went my phone. <laughs> I got an important message. The second little tip or trick um, has to do with the root menu. Now, I when I first built this, my original intent, if you're using Mio Linux JWM, you know that there's this JG menu on the panel. And my original intent was to have that as the root menu for when you clicked on, on the desktop, it would open up JG menu. So, as I was building it, I did that but it would freeze my computer <laughs> every time <laughs> every time I tried it I would I would click on the desktop I would get JG menu and I could do nothing else except move I could move my mouse around I couldn't click on anything I couldn't use the keyboard I had to do a hard shutdown reboot and go in and added out the changes I'd made to make JG menu the root menu. Well, I've been talking to a guy who's a user of Mio Linux JWM, and he's also a user. I don't remember if I said anything about it when I did the Dboot uh, series video. I know, I know in the uh, notes, I said that system's not meant to be installed. And I don't remember if I said anything during the video, but you can actually install, if you want to, <laughs> that actual system on your computer. And I didn't say, if I did say anything, I didn't say how to install it. Well, he figured out how to install it, and he did. <laughs> So if there's if there's anyone who is epitomizing the make it your own philosophy, it's Molder. You can do it, Molder. You can do it. <laughs> oh, it, it's been a real it's been a real thrill to me talking with him and you know hearing how he's been making things his own and doing things. But anyway, Mulder shared with me how he was using JG menu as the root menu on 
Mio Linux JWM. And at first, I thought, wow, you know, that's great. It, it, it must be a, a hardware issue because every time I tried to use it as the root menu, the computer would freeze. But because of Molder, I started digging around and I figured out a very stupid mistake <laughs> that I made. <laughs> and now you can see I've got, when I click on the desktop, I get JG menu. JG menu. I don't get freezes anymore. And there's a very simple reason why. So if you would like to have that, uh, where when you click on the desktop, you get JG menu instead of the, the one that is included in Mio Linux JWM XDG menu maker because uh, JG menu is a, a true dynamic menu. There's nothing you have to do, you know, when you install software or uninstall software, it's taken care of for you. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Whereas on XDG menu maker, you have to hit that refresh menu button, which isn't a big deal. But, you know, this does just make things just a little bit easier. And you get everything in JG menu that you get in the other menu. All right, so how do you do that, Dan? Well, let's look at that. Let's open up our JWMRC file. Let's see. Let me increase the font size. We'll go up to about, let's do 16. Hopefully you can see that okay. Let me open this up a little bit. Now the first thing you're going to notice is this right here. This is your original root menu that came out of the box on Mio Linux JWM. And what that means is when you clicked on your desktop with either here's something else you may not you may not realize. I had that set for if you used your number one or number two mouse buttons. So in other words, if you were to have clicked your left mouse button, that's number one, or your number two mouse button, which is the middle, usually that's like a scroll wheel, you can click either one of those and open that menu. If you wanted to use, there went my phone again. If you want, <laughs> I'm popular. <laughs> if you wanted to use like an open box where you use a right click menu, you would just replace that with uh, the number three. Same thing here in what we're about to show. If you want to use the right mouse button to open the menu, just use number three. Okay. All right. So what I have done here, if you notice, I have commented out the original root menu. And here's what, let me actually increase the font a little bit more. I'm going to try and include this in the uh, video description. Hopefully the YouTube police won't stop me from <laughs> being able to include these special characters. But here is what you need to add to your JWMRC file. Root menu on root equals one, two, or three or you can put all of them. If you want any of your mouse buttons to open the menu, just put one, two, three. All right, then come down a line. Notice, now notice those are in quotation marks right there. I'm sorry. Dynamic equals quotation marks, execute JG menu run, quotation marks. and then root menu okay add that first you want to comment out this one 
And that's how, <clears throat> if you're watching this, if you're not familiar with JWM, that's how you comment out something in the JWMRC file. Those characters there, and then on the other side of what you're wanting to comment out, those characters right there. Now, here's where I was messing up. Come down, find your, it's not very far, just come down just a little bit, find where it says include the XDG menu maker menu. Find that line. Let me turn on line numbers. Well, no, it won't help because I've got extra lines already. It's just, it's not very far from the top at all. Just come down a little bit and you need to comment out that line with those same characters in front and in back. Then you want to come up here and save the file. Okay. And then you want to restart JWM. And then you'll get X, uh, not XDG Menu Maker, you'll get JG Menu as your root menu on your desktop. All right. Hope that helps some people. Uh, Molder, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed going back and forth with you and corresponding with you. Thank you for being a user. And thank you so much for, uh, I guess, kind of, kind of kneeing me into figuring out why in the world I wasn't getting that to work <laughs> it, oh it's amazing uh pctlc talked about making mistakes in uh when he was coding and it's so easy to make little mistakes and not know you know hey you might want to check this or you might want to check that so molder thank you and all you guys, I hope you have a great weekend coming up, and you guys take care. All right? Thanks a lot.